This might be the best looking 49 Ford I've ever seen in my life. I just absolutely love this chopped roof line. It looks, it looks fast. It looks like it's moving. Uh, gorgeous car, obviously a highly customized body, beautiful custom interior. It's got a vintage performance uh, flathead V8 under there with the three carbs. Uh, it's sitting on air ride suspension. That's why it's slammed to the ground. And I did my research on this car because the fellow I bought it from, it was his father's who passed away. Um, this car was built by Lucky 7 Custom Shop. Uh, I was in a Motor Trend Magazine article. I actually found the article on eBay. I found the magazine. I just bought it, so I don't have it yet. It's on its way. I was able to enlarge it and read the story about the car. This car was debuted at Sacramento Autorama in 2014. Uh, that's the first time it was shown. Uh, I don't think it's been driven much since then. There's not many miles on the car. They made it this incredible show car. We went through and spent about seven grand just getting things dialed in and working real uh, properly. So it looks great and it's ready to be driven and enjoyed. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the information and look at over 100 pictures of this car. And that's also where you will find the price tag along with a monthly finance option on every car we have for sale. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so you're notified when the new videos are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, so it has a brand new air ride system. It had some leaks. We just replaced it with Ride Tech. Uh, so right now I've got it down to the ground. This thing sits low. The whole front end is completely rebuilt. The steering, the suspension. It has Fat Man drop spindles. And of course the Ride Tech air ride, which you can control from inside. There's gauges and switches. <clears throat> In back, uh, it has lowering blocks in the leaf springs. Uh, there's a shock so at all four corners too. And then it has the Ride Tech air, airbag system also. They actually notched the frame so you could drop it down even lower. So that's been done. Uh, <clears throat> the brakes were serviced. We replaced the master cylinder, adjusted the brakes, bled the system. It's got a dual exhaust system. You'll hear it towards the end of the video with glass packs, of course. So it has a nice 50s uh, hot rod sound. Uh, you look up at the motor. Uh, it's clean. We put a new starter on it. It is converted to a C4 automatic transmission, so you don't need to be shifting the gears. Uh, and that has a Pro Shift shift kit in it. It also has an external thinned aluminum oil cooler. Um, <clears throat> in back, it has a Ford 8-inch rear end. The fuel tank looks like that was replaced when they rebuilt the car. And the floors appear to be rock-solid original. Looks like it has its original undercoat, uh, clean rockers, floors. That all looks good. Um, they didn't spend time chroming and you know, making the underside glossy because when you slam these down, you don't see under there. You couldn't get your head under there if you tried. The body, the body is really impressive. Lucky 7 Customs, they're known for their body and paintwork. That's their specialty. And here's a prime example of that. Uh, so just reading the article about it, they said the top was chopped and hard slammed. I don't know exactly what they mean by that, but I mean it was slammed down. The name of the car is Hard Top Candy like hard candy, but it's a hard top because there's no pillar anymore. This They took the pillar out. So yeah, this is slammed, lean forward, and this back window is at a drastic slant compared to what it would have been. So much has been done. I'm just going to go through the list. Tail lights are Frenched as the bubble uh, tips. Looks like LED tail lights. The corners of the trunk 
have been rounded. Notice there's no trunk lock, there's no trim, all that's been removed. There's uh, still has the trim down the side. I don't even know if that's original trim or off something else, but they removed the door handles. All the gaps are precise. The corners of the hood are rounded front and back. They said they extended the hood, Frenched the headlights. The whole front end is all custom. This is all custom made. It says front and rear pans were fabricated. And I tell you what, it looks great. Absolutely laser beam straight, straight as an arrow, straight as a rifle barrel. All the terms you want to use would apply towards how straight this car is. And this has been done now for uh, you know, nine, 10 years. So uh, it's holding up really well. Getting right down to the bottom. It is as smooth on the rockers. You got nice, precise gaps. There's no bubbling, no damage. All in excellent shape. The chop, they did an excellent job. There's no issues up here on the roof, the pillars. That's all fantastic. That's all looking really good. The body works amazing. The paint. It is a PPG uh, candy red metallic, uh, real tiny little sparkles in there. It's just stunning, polished like glass, it has like a champagne color scallop and it's outlined in pinstripe around the tail lights. The paint is like a piece of candy. You almost want to lick it. There are few imperfections in the paint. I've seen some on the other side. Here's a little couple nicks at the bottom of the door. Yeah, this paint has held up really well. You start doing a lot of chopping and cutting and filling after time, it sometimes starts popping through, but this is looking great. The glass had to be custom made. The chrome frames were custom made. I just love that detail. This is a power window. This was all custom made in chrome. This is how you get in the car. You reach in and hit the button, and that pops it open. Uh, windshields were all redone in the frame and the gaskets. Look at the bumpers. Smooth. There's no bumper bolts, no seams. They were pinched, shaved, and tucked or something like that. A whole bunch of work has been done in the bumpers. Hundreds of hours, I bet. Um, I forget what all of this stuff is from, but it is listed on, on the website what all these parts are from. I think this is a 56 DeSoto. Uh, there are different bumpers that are on there. Uh, chrome wire wheels, big white wall tires. Yeah, there were a few. Okay, the paint's lifting right here. I'm being very honest by even mentioning it. Uh, it's just, it's not cracked or peeling, but it is lifted right as you get close to the seam. And then there is a hairline crack right here, right in that seam. Uh, it's also a custom back bumper. Again, no bumper bolts. It's smooth. It's tucked into the body real nice and tight. So outside of the car is absolutely stunning. Let's open it up. I got more to show you inside. Okay, I've already opened the trunk. There's a lever underneath here that opens or uh, releases the latch. You lift it up. It uses the original style hinge, which is chromed. Uh, but... Underneath the trunk lid is carpeted and painted. And of course, the trunk compartment is boxed and upholstered to match the interior. And there's a picture on our website with this removed. There's a whole bunch of air ride equipment, the tank, the pump. There's also stereo equipment. There's amplifier, the battery behind here, and you put fuel in it right there. This is a sign that obviously goes with it, and you have a carpeted floor underneath it. And this little detail here, see this champagne color, goes right into the jam. And that's also on the bottom of the trunk lid. They also removed the fuel filler door, obviously. It, you put gas in, in the trunk, so the door has been filled and welded. And New weather strips, jams are painted nice. The interior was professionally done. It's called Brown Derby uh, Vintage Material. It has like a, I don't want to say an aged look, but it, it looks it looks vintage. It looks appropriate. All the metal in here is painted as slick as the outside. We just replaced the entire gauge cluster. We're having problems with the old one. It has a tachometer, so this is all new. 
I like all these uh, knobs, like a glass pearly knob and the shifter as well. There is a stereo in here. There's some different controls, equalizer. It does have a new heater. You might have noticed or you're going to notice there's no heater hoses hooked up to it. There's a couple parts that we ordered that will be in soon and we'll finish that. Um, the center console is a work of art. This is all handmade out of metal. Here's your controls for the uh, air ride system. You've got your power windows. You have vents from a Cadillac. Yeah, that's a really nice, I don't know where they got this chrome trim, but it comes to a point when we get to the back, we'll show you. Steering wheels all painted, it's got turn signals, uh, nice carpet down on the floor. The seats are power seats on each side, they're six way power. Now, here's that console I was talking about. Isn't this cool? I wonder if this trim is off something, a car or something. Uh, back seat, nice and plump and upholstered. You got speakers in the back. You got cloth headliner. I'm six foot tall and I fit in here just fine, even though it's been chopped like that. And it is a rebuilt engine, rebuilt out in California when they did the car. Uh, it's got the Edelbrock finned aluminum heads, Edelbrock aluminum intake with the tri-power carb setup. And like a lot of them, it's just running off the center carburetor. It's just uh, more practical that way, but you still have the three carbs for looks. We just rebuilt that center carb. Uh, new chrome alternator. Uh, this is a complete 12 volt system in here now. Got a nice radiator. Got these cool looking clear wires and the uh, one of the spark plugs. And here's where the heater hoses will be coming out. I just asked the mechanic and he said, yeah, a couple parts we're waiting for. So we didn't want to hold up the video, but that'll be done. I'm going to tell you what, the body and paint on this car would cost what we're asking for this whole car. You go to any professional or custom shop, one, you're going to wait two years, and they're going to charge you what we're asking for this finished car. But I did just notice as I was standing back there is some hairline cracks right here, barely noticeable. Professional shops, uh, the one right next door to us, Literally, uh, someone just went there and asked uh, how much to paint a car that was already clean, rust-free. It was a Super B. They wanted it repainted, and they said their paint job started at 25 grand. That's the paint job. You start chopping and cutting and, and filling and shaving. Oh, boy. Stunning, stunning car. One of the best 49s I've ever seen. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman. They'll answer your questions. To help get this delivered to your door, to help you finance it at volocars.com. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, click on the bell icon so you're the first to see the next one posted. Thank you.